song and testimony. Amen. To line up. Amen. With our sermon for today. Amen. God is using you. Amen. The word of God today comes from Proverbs, the 24th chapter, verse 16. Proverbs 24 chapter verse 16. The scripture says the I don't like that one. That don't look like mine. Pick another case for me. If that mess don't work, we'll just do King James version. We'll pick another one for that. That's missing a key word that I need, a word to say uh, godly, uh, righteous, uh, just. They don't get it. They, they, don't, they uh, pick another person from the real quick. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> Proverbs 24, chapter, the 16th verse. Amen. Amen. I'll take that, I'll take that one, I'll take that one, amen. Proverbs, the 24th chapter, verse 16. For a just man, but I need y'all to understand, a woman. Amen, I was trying to go to a verse where we, everybody was included, amen. For a just person shall fall seven times and rise up again. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. Uh -huh. And my version says, says the godly uh -huh. may trip seven times, uh -huh. but they will get up again. Uh -huh. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The title of today's sermon is Let It Rain. Let it not rain, not rain, ring, ring, ring. Oh, ring. Let it ring. All right, all right. Tell my country accent, get in the way. Let it ring. Amen. A good test to measure where we are spiritually is to determine how long we stay in our midst. Uh -huh. You're trying to measure where you are spiritually. You don't really matter. You just want a good measurement so you know what, what do I need to do now. Uh -huh. But a good test to measure where we are spiritually is, is determined. Look, go back and analyze how long we stay in our midst. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And how many times we repeat the same mistakes over and over again. That's a good tip. Uh -huh. How long do I stay in it? And how often do I continue to repeat the same? That kind of lets you know where you are spiritually. Mm -hmm. I know none of you ever had this issue. But there is one thing that I remember well from childhood. There's a lot of stuff I can't really remember well. Sometimes I think my mom just make up stuff. Because she be saying stuff happened. I'm like, nah, that didn't happen. But you, when you can't, your mind only go back so far. But and so there's not a whole lot of things I remember from you know below five, all that kind of stuff. But there's one thing I remember from those early years, and 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 and, and from those early years, I I remember very well wet in the bed. Mm -hmm. you know that? I was kind of embarrassed. It was a little uncomfortable. I remember bed with it. I remember I wouldn't even want to. I wanted. To, I didn't want to go to nobody else's house until I got that fixed. <laughs> and I, I, I remember wet in the bed. The thing I remember the most is laying there in the bed, thinking I was in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Then all of a sudden, feel a warm liquid substance soaking my pajamas. <laughs> As a small child, I would get up, take off my wet clothes, put on some dry clothes, and then I'd go lay on the floor. Because it was two things that I just couldn't do. 
The first was that I couldn't go back to sleep in no wet clothes. I, I wasn't the kind of child where I could just be like, oh man, and go back to sleep. That, that really wasn't who I was. And so I couldn't go back to sleep in no wet clothes. And secondly, I was definitely not going to lay back down in that mess that I had made. I made the mess, uh -huh. but I wasn't going to lay back down in it. Now, when we look at this scripture right here, the scripture says that the godly may trip seven times. Come on, godly folk. Godly folk might trip seven times. To, to say we are godly, some people run from words like that. You know, the Bible said, be ye holy for I am holy. And people uh -huh. say, I ain't holy. I'm holy. Uh -huh. God told me to be holy, so I'm holy. I ain't got it all right yet, okay. but I'm working on it. Yeah. And to say that we are godly is not to say that we are perfect or that we have reached or obtained perfection. That, uh -huh. That's not what you, when you say that you're godly, you're not saying that, that, that I'm perfect or I reached perfection. But to say we are godly is saying we're going through a perfecting process. Uh -huh. I'm in the middle of my process. And yeah. so, so, so I need to be real clear with you now. So don't trip when I slip. Uh -huh. You know, I don't want to just trip. You, you done messed up and now oh, you're supposed to be Mr. Christian. Amen. Amen. Don't trip when, I'm, when I slip because I'm not perfect yet. I'm doing some things. I'm listening to God. I'm, I'm, I'm reading the Word. I'm coming to church. I'm doing because I'm, I'm in the perfect. I'm not perfect. Uh -huh. Amen. I haven't even reached it yet. Amen. But I'm in the perfecting process. Uh -huh. I mean, at any time, not any day, at any time, any second, God might show me something I need to get straight. Amen. I'm in the perfecting. So don't trip when I slip. God ain't through with me yet. Uh, I, I don't say it to make an excuse for messing up. Mm -hmm. But if you see me stumbling down here, don't talk about me. That's right. Praise for me. Uh -huh. That's right. If you see me trip uh -huh. down here, don't get on the phone and <laughs> look what I saw. <laughs> Look what I saw, River Rose. Uh -huh. I remember somebody called me about one of our pastors here and said, I just saw what I passed. He was drunk. I said, Why are you calling me? I can't do nothing about it. What am I going to do about it? No, I just saw him. He was up at the store and he was drunk. What? What you want me to break? I can't do nothing about it. I, I'm definitely not here going to sit here on this phone and talk with you about something I can't correct. Amen. Folks, see, if you don't even really have to be slipping, folks just thank you, slipping. Uh -huh. Amen. That brother might have been on some medication. Amen. I don't know what the story is, but it ain't my business. I can talk to God about it, but I don't need to talk to y'all about it. Amen. Amen. I'm still on the wheel. Uh -huh. God's not through with me yet, and, and, and um, I'm not going to get in anybody's business. But Amen. I ain't through with none of y'all, eh? Amen. Everybody still nigga got something. I don't know what it is. Amen. Your neighbor might not know what it is. Uh -huh. But you got something you struggle with. I don't know you look all churchy. Uh -huh. Look all holy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Catch on the back there, you might be speaking some talk. Uh -huh. <laughs> all of us got some stuff to work on. So for the people that got the stuff, you know, like, don't feel like you and I alone by yourself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The pastor got some stuff he got to pray about every day too. Pastor got some stuff he worked on. Uh -huh. And so everything just ain't wrong. I was I was on um, BET is a funny station. 
you could be looking at church on BET one minute, uh -huh. and the next minute they be robbing like a lot. <laughs> and so BET will embarrass you. You be looking at Jace and, and mess around and walk away from the TV and somebody come to your house. <laughs> they come to your house and you got somebody drunk. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know. I was. It was. I was listening to something. It wasn't that. But it was just this week. It was Friday. I had a day off on Friday. And I was home. And I was looking at the little BT. Uh, Moshe Moshe. She come over and the, the lady, the lady, the comedian lady. They be chasing the standard over here. Monique, I, I, I was looking at Monique and all, all that and so on, on Friday morning. And then I guess by the up, some other stuff came on. I don't know, the other somewhere around there. And uh, and it was, I guess, a new rap or whatever. But I already told y'all, I mean, I like rap music. I, I like the bottom. I like the bass. I like, I like a nice beat. And I just like the different. I got to change my words up now, but I can't get the stuff out of here. You know what I mean? I, 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 and so, and so I was sitting there, and I was, I, you know how you when you're home by yourself, and I was home by myself, and that a real nice crumpy came up. I was like, oh, 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 and I was like, I started riding out. I was all in, I was all in the pantry riding out, and and, and, and and you know, you got all of us got stuff. All of us got so I, I'm laughing at the stars. You know, I, I ain't really with these new ones, but. But but too short and all them fellas back then, boy, I I ride out of those fellas right there. And but but I I mess around and start bopping on. So even at the pool party, if you see me start bopping, just pray for me. <laughs> just, just pray. God, you still I'm still you still working with me. I ain't embarrassed because he's still working with me, because he's working with you. Amen. Have you ever noticed how no one is immune from falling? I'm just talking like literally falling. I mean, like you're standing and you're walking and they think you're laying on the ground. I mean, nobody is immune from falling. The babies fall, just be walking. The next thing you know, they're on the ground. Adults fall. Yes, we do. Baby, can I tell you something? <laughs> When you're with your woman, <laughs> kind of like eye candy on your arm. <laughs> that kind of eye candy on your arm, man. I remember me and my baby before we was on me out, I believe. And so we walking, I know my baby looking good. And so I see some guy walking by, I look at my baby, I know she's because she's mine. I don't care, you can look all you want. And so I know they look at them, look at them lady when we walk by. Oh, set me, shut up. They come to church 
Because they sick, but they trying to get better. So we, it's important for us to understand that church is just a hospital for sick folk trying uh -huh. to get better. And, uh -huh. and you know what? Even when I visit hospitals, many of the rooms have a warning sign at the entrance warning you that the patient is, is at risk of falling. Have you ever seen that before when you went in a hospital room? This patient is at risk of falling. Folk fall, fall all the time. And spiritually, folk fall. Uh -huh. I thank God for grace. Amen. Amen. I thank God for mercy. Amen. The difference between the godly and the ungodly it's not that one falls and another does not. See, that's where folk get it messed up. They think church folk don't fall. Uh -huh. And people in the world fall. No, all of us fall. Uh-huh. Church folk fornicate. Uh-huh. 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 They lie. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. They wrestle with homosexuality. Uh-huh. They steal. Yeah. They gossip real bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. But the difference is between church folk and folk in the world is not that they they don't fall. That, 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 that's not the deal. That's what you're looking for. You, you're not going to find that because it, it's done in both places. Uh -huh. The distinct difference from the godly and the ungodly is that if they experience a fall, one will get up uh -huh. and the other will lay down in their midst. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. That's the difference. When I, when I was in the world and I wasn't trying to do this church thing, uh -huh. I was falling every day. But I wasn't concerned with getting up. I lay right down there in my mess. All the mess I was creating in my life, I lay right down in the only difference between godly folk and ungodly folk. Ungodly folk just lay in. Uh -huh. Ungodly folk wet the bed spiritually, leave all the wet clothes. Lay back down there. Sometimes what they'll do is they kind of halfway in, halfway out the church, they'll go take off the clothes. Put a clean sheet. The mat is still soaking. Uh -huh. But put a clean sheet over it so nobody can't see it, but it's still smelling. Uh -huh. <laughs> Your mat still smelling. It's still. You can try to cover it up all you want, but unless you let Jesus deal with it, right. it's still smelling. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the only difference is that one will get up from their midst while the other will lay down in their midst. But verse 16 says the godly, they might not. They don't always, the godly may trip uh -huh. seven times. Uh -huh. But they will get up again. But one disaster is enough to overthrow the wicked. Yeah. The difference between the godly and the ungodly is when the ungodly mess up, uh -huh. they just get overwhelmed and buried in their mess. But the God they got enough sense to run to Jesus. Amen. God they got enough sense to go and ask for forgiveness. Amen. Say, God, help me do better. Uh -huh. Now that's the only difference between the godly and the ungodly. Not that they won't trip at all. Even the godly might trip seven times. And that's just a number to let you know they might do it over and over and over again. The same Donnie McClurk. He wrote a song declaring, We fall down. Yeah. But we get up. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what church folk really need to understand. So you can begin to walk with swag. Uh-huh. That's right. You see, you see, the enemy ain't gonna take our swag away or our confidence away because, because every now and then we fall and, and then we, we lose our confidence. We we lose our swag and we, we hang our heads down and, and, and we don't walk with confidence anymore. But but, but but you can't let one mistake cause you to think you can't still do all things through Christ Jesus. You can't let one mistake make you think that you're not a conqueror or more than a conqueror. You, you can't let one mistake give you a defeated attitude. You, you got to get up and you got to still know in your heart that you were created in the image of God. That you can do all things through Christ. And no weapon formed against you.
shall prosper you. Might have made the trip, but you won't win this battle. You, you might have made the mess up, but you won't win this battle. I have enough sense to call on the name of Jesus. But many of us, we lose our swag, and, and we walk around, we lose our confidence, and, and we walk around as if God, as, as, as if God is not able. But, but I stop by to tell every believer in here, I stop by to tell every believer in Christ, uh, that God says you got me. He said, he said that you're holy because he's holy, and it's up to us to stand up with confidence and, and look the devil in his eyes and say, you might have beat me one time, you might have beat me two times, you, you might even beat Again, uh, but you won't win the war. Uh, you won't win it all. Uh, and Don McClurk can sing the song uh, that says, We fall down, uh, but we get up. Uh, and you know what? Uh, if Mr. McClurk, uh, if he allowed me to add some lyrics to the song, uh, I add some lyrics to the song. Uh, and I might say, uh, We may fall down, uh, but we learn from our mistakes. Uh, I've done some things wrong. Uh, I've messed up. Oh, yeah. 
You really? 